Matt's here now with the first week of May forecast. We're getting some showers. Not as much natural light coming through those windows. <laughs> right. Not right now. No, no, that's for sure. So yeah, the April showers, which are, you know, almost non-existent, um, are going to show up in May, at least for a few days. It's an interesting uh, pattern that we're going into during the week. Right now, it's just rainy. It's 59 degrees. It's not heavy rain, but we are getting rain in Portland. You can see on Doppler radar, it doesn't really extend much farther south than Portland, and it's been much rainier in western Washington today. Now we're getting it sagging down through parts of Yamhill County, but this is light rain and it's going to end. And we've got a couple of warm, dry days on the way tomorrow and Wednesday. Look really, really nice. Now look at the rainfall. Portland just now clicking in with measurable rainfall, one hundredth of an inch. Astoria, two tenths of an inch. Up to the north, it's been heavier up at uh, Hoquiam. And Seattle's had 2100s of an inch. So again, it's been raining for the better part of the day north of the Columbia River. And with the lack of rain until last hour or so, we made 64. The average is 65. So we were right there. Chowtel was 66. McMinnville a bit cooler than 63. Kelso only 60. And around the state, we had some 70s, as usual, Columbia Basin and Ontario. And then the Umpqua and Rogue Valleys. And even Eugene across the uh, western part of the state. We will see more 70s on the map tomorrow. In fact, we will see 70 degrees right here in Portland. 50 in the morning, 61 at noontime, and then reaching our high of 70 right around 5 o'clock, right around this time of the day. All right, so rainfall. We had our driest April on record, and we've also had a super dry spring. Here's what we did in April. 39 hundredths of an inch. That's it. That's the record driest. The old record was a little over half an inch, so we really beat it by you know, a decent amount. March rainfall looking back to March, we only had an inch and a half of rain. And while it wasn't the driest, it was the seventh driest. And if you throw those two months together, March and April combined, driest start to spring we've ever had in Portland. 1.94 inches. That's it for the two months combined. That's really, really low. We average over three inches in March and nearly three inches in April. And we didn't even get two inches with those two months combined. So these showers that are in the forecast for later this week are really quite welcome and it should be some substantial rain unlike what we're getting right now. This won't amount to a whole lot and the rain is going to end as we go into the overnight hours and things dry out and look at this. You see this is tomorrow at 8 a.m. already be clearing and it really clears off tomorrow. It turns into a beautiful Tuesday up to about 70 degrees. Now Wednesday is interesting because we get more clouds coming in, but we get offshore winds too and that's going to win out and we'll actually be up around 80 81 on Wednesday. But it's a one day warm up if you consider the 80s the warm up because look on Thursday showers begin to arrive. We go back to a cooler southerly wind winds coming in off the ocean and the rain will really pick up later Thursday and Friday and into the weekend. And in fact, if you add up our rainfall through the weekend, we should get more rain Thursday through Sunday than we did through all of April. Now we may not end up with 7100 of an inch, but I think for the valleys about a quarter third of an inch to even a half an inch is pretty realistic. So again, this will be the best rainfall we've had in quite some time. We got the gnats dancing around. I don't know what the, you know, the rain brought them out, I guess. 59 degrees, freezing level at 7,200 feet. So again, we've got drier days on the way and then a big cool down and showers coming in at the end of the week. Showers will end tonight though, and then partly sunny tomorrow on the coast and highs will be about 58 to 60 degrees for the valleys becoming mostly sunny. Low 70s tomorrow turns into a beautiful day up in the Cascades. Snow level saying about 7500 feet, but it'll be warmer. 59 at Govey and up to 50 at Timberline and Meadows. Central and Eastern Oregon will take a while to cycle through the clouds, but you will and you'll get sunny tomorrow in the gorge. West winds up to about 25 and becoming sunny. Windy for the east side of the gorge, 75 in the Dalles and about 70 in Hood River. And for the Portland area in Vancouver, high of 70 and the showers end tonight becomes sunny. Look, there's the 81. We just rock it to 81 on Wednesday. We plummet to high of only 62 on Thursday with the rain. Strong showers, maybe a thunderstorm Friday. And the weekend looks pretty soggy, but it should warm up and dry out next week. So, you know, you always want to see the sunshine, but we, we really do need those showers. Well, that's Wednesday's there for us. And yeah, exactly. Yeah, and don't forget and Sunday. Mother's Day Sunday is yeah. Mother's Day, and that'll be better than Saturday. So I'll try to work <laughs> on that Mother's Day forecast. All right. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt.